Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm presenting the super compact and stylish Breville Bambino. To demonstrate this machine, I'm going to make three sets of drinks. I'm going to make a double shot of espresso and then two milk-based drinks. I'm also going to go over how to program and use this machine to get the most out of it. So the first drink I'm gonna to make to demonstrate the Bambino is a double shot of espresso or two espressos. And what I need to do first is, of course, uh, put my coffee into the portafilter basket. I'm using the matching Breville Smart Grinder along with it. This is a great pairing, these two products. Uh, but you can use pre-ground coffee with the Bambino because it comes with a dual-walled portafilter. That's a pressurized basket, uh, which allows for the use of slightly coarser grinds. And the Bambino also comes with, uh, with everything you need in order to, uh, to get started, including a tamper. So this is the tamper that comes with it. And of course, once I have my coffee in the basket, I'm going to tamp it down. J just clean up there a little bit. And then I put it into the group. Now, I'd like to show you how to program your dose. So in order to uh, program your coffee dose, you'll press the single and the double button together for two seconds and then they'll begin to flash. And now I'm in programming mode. So I'll put my cups here, and you can program the single or the double dose here, but I'm gonna do the double. I'm gonna press this button, and once I have enough coffee in my cup, I'm gonna press it again, and it will remember it for next time. As you can see, we're getting a nice extraction with a nice crema. I'm going to stop it right there. The second drink that I'm going to make is a milk-based drink, a cafe latte. I've already ground and tamped my coffee, and I have it inside the portafilter group. And I'm just going to put my cup here, and you'll notice that the clearance on the Bambino, even though it's a very small machine, the clearance is quite high, so you can use large cups like this one. I'm going to press the double shot button, because that's what I have programmed, and the machine will extract my espresso. Now, while it's doing that, I'm going to explain the steaming function on this machine. One of the coolest features of the Bambino is the fact that it has automatic milk frothing. It can texture the milk for you uh, in a couple of different ways so you can get the desired drinks that you want to have. There's three different settings, uh, and that, that's on this button here at the right. You have uh, three settings, one, two, and three, and that represents a low amount, a normal amount, and a high amount of foam. And you can experiment with what you like the most. The top setting here is the temperature, and that represents warm, ideal, and hot. And you can also set that to your preference. Now that my shot is finished, I'm just gonna set this glass aside. And I'm making a cafe latte, so I want, I have my settings set to low amount of foam, and the temperature I have set to the ideal setting, which is the medium setting. I put my uh, pitcher into place. You have to make sure that the sensor at the bottom there is clean and dry. And then I just press the steam button and the machine will froth my milk. You can see I'm using the um, a pitcher with a thermometer in it and it stopped around 150 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the ideal temperature for milk. I'll remove my pitcher, just wipe my wand. The wand's gonna purge and then I just add the milk to my coffee. You have a nice latte. The last drink I'm gonna make is a cappuccino. So of course I have my coffee ground. And again, I do my coffee first, press the double button. And once my espresso is extracted, I'm going to be frothing milk. Okay, so my coffee's finished. I'm just gonna set this aside for a moment. And this time I'd like to show you uh, the difference in the foaming. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna make the temperature setting one, because I like my milk a little bit cooler, and I'm going to take the froth setting all the way up to full. So this is more of a cappuccino. Uh, I'm going to get much foamier milk.
Now the Bambino also gives you the option of frothing manually. If you don't want to use the automatic option or if you want to practice frothing on your own, you can do that as well. And the way you do that is you lift the wand and in the top position you just press the steam button and you, you can froth milk any way you like. And it's done there. You can see the milk's at about 130 degrees. I'm going to pull this out, wipe my wand. And then this milk is, is much frothier and you can create a cappuccino with a nice foamy, foamy top on it. Another feature that the Bambino has is the cup warming surface. Up here, this is quite warm, so you can put your cups up here. Now this is a compact machine, so you're not going to get a lot of cups, but you can get four espresso cups or maybe two cappuccino cups. And it's good to preheat your cup because your coffee is going to taste better because it's going to be hotter. The water tank is also very easy to remove. You just pull on it and it can come out. You can take this to your water source in order to refill it. It's also a generous size for such a small machine. A lot of times compact machines have very small water reservoirs, but that's not the case with the Bambino. Underneath the water reservoir you have this little tool and it's, uh, it's a cool place to store. It's very elegant design from Breville. And this is just used to unclog your steam wand if you ever get any milk stuck in there. There's a little needle there. And like I said, it goes behind and underneath the water tank. It's a really elegant design, quick and easy. Don't be fooled by the Bambino's small stature. This machine is capable of making cafe quality drinks in your home, and it's really small, will fit into any space, and it looks great. If you have any questions about the Bambino or any one of our products, please feel free to reach out to idrinkcoffee.com. We're always happy to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos about espresso machines, coffee machines, and everything to do with coffee. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.